Hey there crew, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for hanging out today as we check out the One Touch Stylus Nine Function Tool Pen from Monte Verde USA. This pen is a stunner. It can do all of the things and we're going to be talking about all of the features, including checking out the ink ball system that is a part of these Monte Verde pens. What's cool is that they have a lot of different options specifically for this one, but with other pens as well, including pencils, an actual fountain pen tip, Ink ball is what we have here. We also have this on our Engage as well. And you can also get something like this in a ballpoint pen, depending on your needs. The ink ball version of this pen retails for about $47. You can find this on the Monte Verde website, which is monteverdepens.com. And you can also find this, I believe, on Amazon and some other online retailers too. So depending on where you like to shop, you can certainly find this pen around there. On the back of the pen, when you pull it out here, you just get a little bit of details about all of the features we'll be talking about this one. Also a reminder to register your pen at monteverdepens.com. So you gotta love that guy there. Overall, I'll tell you, just using this pen myself and giving it a try, I've liked it a lot. It has a nice heavy weight to it. I'm not so much using this uh, for all of the functionality of it so far, really. It's just been the try it out. But I will tell you that I was thinking a lot about just including this just outside in my workshop or inside in your workshop if you have one. It's just a cool pen to have. It's definitely very versatile. It has a good weight to it, as I mentioned. So this isn't something that's going to be very brittle. You can certainly like throw this in a bag or inside of a tool box or in your pocket and just move along and feel very confident with what you're doing. On the outside here, you'll see all of the different measurement units here. So you have uh, four inches for a small little measurement here, uh, your millimeters, centimeters, and going from there. You do have a clip. So if you're clipping this to yourself, to your bag, to a clip book, whatever that might be, you do have this feature here. And I love that it has the level on it. This is going to be like a must have inside of my toolbox, because if you're ever hanging pictures or working somewhere where you you need like a pen, you need a level, you might need a screwdriver. This pen has it all in there. So that's right here on the side. It lays flat so you can actually get a good measurement of how level something is. And I really love that. On the top of the pen here, you're going to find an ultra sensitive touch screen stylus. Gotta really love that guy because if you're working on your tablet, if you're on your phone, if you want to, and you prefer to use this, especially for like digital signing and things like that, how cool is this? And especially if you carry this around in your pocket, if you're out and about and you don't wanna touch the touch screens at some of the other stores, you can use your stylus and it'll work out just fine. Underneath of that ultra sensitive stylus are your Phillips head and flat head screwdrivers. So these are just some little guys right here, but fit snugly right inside of your pen. Love that, think it's great. It locks right in there, so you can use your pen as the shaft of your screwdriver. Easily pull it out, switch it around, and use the other side. So it's pretty awesome, and it screws on the top here so it doesn't pop off. I really like that feature about it. On the end here, you just have kind of like a blunt end. I see this as kind of a double use. One is if you're just, you know, want to poke at things or anything like that and not have to use your pen tip, this is really nice. But more than anything, it's here to protect the ink ball pen tip that you have on the top here. So as I mentioned before, ink ball is very cool because essentially what it is, is that it is like having a fountain pen, also like having a ballpoint pen all in one. I have this with my Engage, and I absolutely love my Engage. It's one of my favorite because it does the same exact thing. You can use a cartridge or you can use a converter with these. Pop this in here. Have any type of ink that you want in your pen. Let's go ahead and pop a new one in here real quick, and I'll show you how this guy writes. It sticks right on here. You just push that up inside, and then you're good to go. The top also, as I mentioned, it's protecting that tip, but it's also making sure that you're not writing on yourself if you're popping this pen inside of your pocket as you're working. If you're looking for something different than the ink ball tip, this pen can also be purchased to have a regular roller ball tip, so just a regular ink instead of fountain pen ink. It also comes as a fountain pen nib tip. So if you want a fountain pen instead of an ink ball pen, you can also get that in a version of this pen as well. The ballpoint pen runs $32. There's also some other versions and colors as well. There's also a rainbow ballpoint pen version of this, which is pretty neat for $40. You also have the 0.9 millimeter pencil if you're looking for a pencil instead of a pen, which I think is another really good option, especially if you're using this uh, while you're working or inside of a toolbox or something like that. Those run 42. The ink ball pens, like I said, are 47. And then the other ones that have the fountain pen nib are $52. Since we have all of the features, let's give this a write just so you can see how this one writes on the top here. 
pull out a little notepad that we have. With those cartridges, you do just want to give it a minute to make sure that the ink starts to flow through everything. So we might not get it instantly. As I mentioned before, those cartridges, you're actually going to be able to use just a international G3 ink cartridge, which comes included as a part of this. But if you want to have those refills, you can. What I love about this pen is that when you're writing with it, it definitely has a wonderful flow to it. It is a little bit inkier than a normal ballpoint pen, but I really like that about my pens. So you can either get the regular G3 ink cartridges, blue, black, some other colors. I also recently just purchased syringes so I can refill the cartridges with whatever ink that I want. So that's something else that you can do too. And it's really nice. Wonderfully smooth flow. You got to love that. And it's overall just a very versatile pen that you can use for absolutely anything like not spelling Monteverde correctly. <laughs> because this is an ink pen and it does flow a little bit heavier, make sure you're definitely watching out for any type of papers or things that you're using. If you're just using a regular scratch paper, you're okay. But if you're writing on another notebook or on top of other papers that might be a little bit thinner, just make sure that you're aware, put a blotter paper between the two or just write on one at a time. It's just one of those things I like to let people know about, especially when you start to play around with certain types of fountain pen ink. It can make a big difference. Inks react differently to different types of paper. So it's really important that, you know, if you're signing an official document or something like that, just make sure that you've got the right pen for the job. This pen is going to be perfect for anyone who's looking for a nice versatile and rugged pen, but with a little bit of extra class, specifically with that ink ball cartridge fountain pen refill. Love that about this pen, makes it super reusable and just overall fantastic. I think this would be a great gift, as I mentioned, if you know someone who does work or carries around pens in their pockets, but likes to have the versatility of having small screwdrivers available, a level and even some small measurements. This is a pretty amazing pen. I'll drop all of the different links and the different versions of the pen that we talked about down in the descriptions below. And let me know in the comments, what do you think about this pen? Is this something you feel like you would use or maybe someone and your family would really enjoy. I think it's a fantastic pen and looking forward to using it more here around the studio. If you're a fan of pens and want to check out some other ones, I've got an entire playlist for you on inks and pens. Make sure to check that out here. I'll talk to you later on. Have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya.